Cyro Ferguson has been unusually active on social media in recent days, posting candid photographs of her and Queen Elizabeth II's corgis, having been trusted to take care of them following the monarch's death. The images, published on Instagram to mark the Duchess of York's 63rd birthday on October 15, show her lying in the grass as she plays with the two dogs, Nuke and Sandy. Earlier this month, she said it was a big honor to have taken on the late Queen's beloved pets, describing them as national treasures and revealing they had been taught well. Royal fans were delighted by the photographs, with one commenting, how heartbreakingly beautiful, they are in safe, gentle hands with Sarah, and another adding, lovely to see the corgis are being loved and happy. The images came following the Duchess announcement of her upcoming book, A Most Intriguing Lady, a historical romance novel which will be available in March. In a promotional video, Sarah said, I'm delighted to bring you the most amazing, romantic historical novel. It is so exciting. It is full of seduction and scandals. Well, it is a very intriguing lady. But while royal watchers have expressed their excitement, some commentators have shown their concern claiming King Charles III may have to intervene if Sarah, affectionately known as Fergie, continues to be unfiltered. Hosts of the royally obsessed podcast, Christina Garibaldi and Christine Ross, discussed Fergie's latest social media posts, saying the Duchess of York appears to be going rogue. Ems Garibaldi said, We saw these pictures with the Queen's corgis and Fergie for her birthday over the weekend, with Ems Ross adding, She's kind of going rogue with social media. I do think it's like Fergie has kind of been let off a leash a little bit with the Queen not there anymore. And I think Charles is going to have to rein her in at some point because it feels like she is just like everywhere right now, Ems Garibaldi claimed. The pair mentioned the Duchess upcoming tour of Australia, which the public can buy tickets for online but has not been touched by the press, and her novel which has been described as the most anticipated historical romance of 2023. Ems Garibaldi, it's just a level of unrestraint that we haven't seen in a long time. Having experienced a rocky relationship with Prince Andrew, Sarah was involved in several scandals in the early 90s, perhaps most notably when she was photographed with her toes in the mouth of financial adviser John Bryan while on holiday. During a stay at Balmoral, Fergie had to walk into breakfast that morning while the family all looked at the pictures. Speaking on Channel 5's documentary, Fergie vs. Diana, Royal Wives at War, Royal Expert Jenny Bond said, There she was, with all the members of the royal family, who traditionally have all the papers laid out on the breakfast table. The scene when she went into the dining room was horrendous because there were her brothers-in-law turning over the pages and staring at the naked top half of her body. It was excruciatingly embarrassing and she went to the Queen, and the Queen was livid. She was absolutely furious with Sarah. However, it is understood that Sarah and the Queen shared a friendship years after the toe-sucking scandal, and, following Her Majesty's death, the Duchess paid tribute to the monarch on Instagram, writing, I am heartbroken by the passing of Her Majesty the Queen. She leave, 